Incubos, what's up? Final here today, Final Fantasy Talk, and today we're going to talk about some more Final Fantasy 10 news. Yes, yeah, some 10 news. Now, some of you Kubos have probably already heard this, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. So, we all know what was going on about the audio drama scene about Final Fantasy 10 and Final Fantasy 10 HD and everything, and everybody was thinking that there would be a Final Fantasy 10 HD or 10 free, I should say. Now, pretty much one of the directors from Square Enix said that is false, they're not working on anything of Ten Free at all, that audio drama scene was just a little extra after Ten Two, basically, so just to say a final goodbye or something to the whole Final Fantasy Ten story or... I don't know, maybe they were just doing it to fool us or something, but honestly... Honestly, I'm really happy that they're not doing a Final Fantasy X free. And the reason why I'm happy that they're not doing it is because honestly, the Final Fantasy X series already is already perfect the way it is. You know, the story in Final Fantasy X is absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And then X2, that is awesome. It's, it's, it's beautiful as well. The, the, how both of those games and both stories connected together and everything. Honestly, it's beautiful. It's a great game story series and if they added in 10 free and if they did like split up titus and yuna and just added all all this random stuff and everything honestly i just think it would just ruin the story itself to final fantasy 10 now the game might be good you know all the gameplay and everything as well but to for the story and everything i honestly don't think that it would be good at all because you know if you go back to, I don't know, other games, like, if you go back to, like, Final Fantasy 13, okay? Final Fantasy 13, the story connected with Final Fantasy 13 and 13 2 were good. They, those were good. They were, they were good. They were good. They were good. But then they added in a third little story. And there was light and returns. And basically what they did was just added all this random stuff that was not explained at all in Final Fantasy 13 13 2 and basically explained you know it, it didn't just it explain anything at all everything in the lightning returns was not explained really at all in Final Fantasy 13 or 13 2 it just happened basically and honestly I love Final Fantasy 13 light returns and to the people who think I don't like the Final Fantasy 13 series at all Go to my PSN, go to Final Fantasy 33X, and you can see that I platinum all the Final Fantasy 13 games. And if I didn't like the 13 games, I wouldn't even freaking play the whole game. And I wouldn't definitely wouldn't even 100% the damn game. So you can't call me a hater for that. But I'm just giving my own opinion about it. So anyway. That's what they kind of did with Light Dirt Church, was just added a story and whatever, and that was it. And now, you know, the story was good and everything. I really did like the story. It was kind of short, but anyway, the story was good and everything, but it was still confusing to me. It didn't really, you know, it didn't really wrap up everything that I expected to happen in the whole Final Fantasy 13 series. And if they did a 10 free, I think that would exactly, the same thing would exactly happen. Is that they would add random things to the story that was not explained at all. And it was just some rubbish or whatever, you know. Like, you know, like, like how, you know, what, what if Titus and Yuna just went, you know, 5,000 years back in the future or in the past I should say or you know 10,000 years in the future you know stuff like that you know that's not how briefly explained or anything or why the reasons that happened or anything you know reasons like that and stuff like that you know really doesn't make any sense and I think you know, and also, a lot of people were also worrying about Titus and Yuna being split up, and come on, you know, you you made Final Fantasy X 2 for a reason, to get back Yuna and Titus, and then you're gonna split them ag up again in Final Fantasy X 3? That is, like, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? So, honestly, 
I'm glad that they're not doing Final Fantasy X free. Not because I don't believe that any of the, like, the gameplay and battle system or anything like that would be good. It probably would be damn good. And, you know, change up the whole battle system or have, like, the Final Fantasy X battle system and, like, make it more, just more, like, not ATB, but uh, more CTB and just, like, I don't know, just change it up a little bit, but still, like I said, mainly for me for a Final Fantasy game is the story, and I just think that the story would not go well at all. I think they would just make up really random stuff and everything, and just kind of throw it in all together, and just do stuff like, like you know, splitting up Titus and Yuna, doing all that stuff. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be happy. It wouldn't be nice or anything. So. Anyway, Kubos, you let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Are you glad that they're not making a Final Fantasy X free? Or are you, are you not happy that they're not doing it? Honestly, you know, Final Fantasy X, the Final Fantasy X series is my favorite Final Fantasy series. I love it the bits. But honestly, I don't want X free because the game is already perfect the way it is. And it should just stay that way. So, anyway, Kubos, you let me know. You let me know in the comments below what you think about this and uh yeah and i know i've been gone for a while i'm sorry about that uh just reasons just reasons and everything but i'm back doing the final fantasy news and everything and uh yeah so anyway kubos let me know in the comments below what you think about final fantasy 10 free not coming out or anything and uh yeah so anyway kubos hope you enjoyed i'm final and i'm out Kubo. See ya!